Well, praise Jesus. Thank you for joining me once again for the Lookout Guy podcast. I am Michael Tobin, your host on the Lookout Guy. And coming up is more pure Christmas. Just can't get enough. It keeps on coming. It's already the 19th, about five more days till Christmas. Six more days, actually. And I started this year's Christmas in November a Christmas carol performance in London with West End Has Faith that was on the 26th of November you can go back in my archives and check that out on my Spreaker and you can also go to my anchor uh, fm anchorfm.com anchor fm by Spotify and look at the releases on that as well um on the 12th of December I did Christmas 2020 with indie artist Greg Whitstock and a Christmas message from Pastor Jurgen Matesius from here in San Diego and yesterday I did new Christmas indie releases from Ann Vidi and Greg Whitstock today I've got pure Christmas or maybe more pure Christmas and it is featuring uh, a few more indie artists that I've featured uh, several times in the past and in fact in October of this year my friend Vinny Contreras he sent me some mp3s of some of his songs that are not quite mastered yet but he felt that he should release them and one of the songs that I featured back in October from my friend Vinny Contreras is uh, Jesus King of Kings and now he's got a song that's about 10 or 15 years old he says but he finally decided to release it imagine that it's a Christmas song and he just released it on video on YouTube Jesus born the king of kings when I saw that I was thinking is there some kind of mistake sounds like the song that I one of them that I played in October which was Jesus king of kings and that's going to be coming up and now also I will have for you his latest release from yesterday on his YouTube channel, I'll, I'll give you the links in the information section of my podcasts. Uh, his new release in video form, Jesus Born the King of Kings. And I've got it in audio form right here for you. And that will be followed by my friends in the United Kingdom, Paul and Jeannie Poulton from the Paul Poulton Project, and they are pioneers of uh, Christian rock from back in the early 70s, friends with Larry Norman, Randy Stonehill, Phil Keggy, and a whole bunch of others. Imagine that, the Jesus movement was not only here in the U.S., but it was also in the United Kingdom, and I can't uh, tell you enough of how appreciative I am of them as well as Vinny Contreras and such wonderful friends. I'll also give you uh, the links to their YouTube also. So thank you again for joining me. Coming up now is Vinny Contreras with Jesus Born the King of Kings, followed by Jesus King of Kings. Actually, I've got that... uh, in juxtaposition right there uh first is jesus king of kings followed by the christmas release jesus born the king of kings and concluding uh actually that will be followed by the paul Poulton projects god rest ye merry gentlemen from the album grooves for scrooge and then the the uh, the continuing saga of Frankie and Paul. It's something that they've been doing for a whole year already. They've got several productions that they've created of uh, 
Paul and Jeannie at a train stop, and the characters are Paul and and the female character played by Jeannie is her name is Frankie. And when he first met Frankie at the train stop, where they frequently meet up to catch the train at the same time, uh, Paul speaks to Frankie about Jesus, and throughout the years she has really grown in the Lord. And I don't want to add or subtract anything to it. This is Christmas Jesus is born the King of Kings, and you will hear the gospel and how Jesus relates to us. But you'll hear the the pure gospel and pure Christmas. Hope you enjoy. God bless you. Have a wonderful Merry Christmas and a blessed new year to come, 2022. On the Lookout Guy podcast, and I'm Michael Tobin, your host. Thank you once again for joining me.
to electrocution lessons. <laughs> electrocution lessons. <laughs> yeah, electrocution lessons. You know, where people go to learn to speak proper, properly. I've heard of elocution lessons. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, You have yeah. to be careful with those, don't you? Oh, really? Why is that? Well, you might, because you might get electrocuted. OK, OK. So, Frankie, yeah. how is your work as mm. a hairdresser going well you see i had this client come in the other day okay a nice lady and she said she was going to a party Ooh. and she said to me i want some lights in my hair okay so i had an idea you know i thought yeah. okay i thought it's nearly christmas why not 
Why okay. not? I said to myself, so I've got some really nice battery lights, you know, <laughs> with a little very thin wire that you could hardly see. Yeah. And I did this really nice twirl mm. on her hair. Okay. I mean, she looked lovely. Really? And she looked like a little Belisha beacon. <laughs> Great. Well, when she opened her eyes, I mean, she weren't very happy. And she said to me, I wanted highlights, <laughs> not it. lights on my hair. I mean, I made a mistake. She meant highlights, not lights. <laughs> I mean, her hair did look pretty, though. Yeah, because when you say lights in the hairdressing business, it just means highlights automatically. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe she was afraid of getting electrocuted. Oh. I never thought of that. Yeah, you know. maybe she was. I didn't. But, I mean, you can't think of everything, can you? You no. know. I mean, we're only human beings, aren't we? Yeah, I, I quite like beans. Well, yeah, I mean, we all mess up, don't we? And we have to forgive each other as well, I think, don't Yeah, you? oh, we do, we do, we do. Well, yeah. I mean, it's nearly Christmas, and this is a time where I think you have to show love and forgive. Forgiveness. True. I mean, some people are glad when it's all over so they can get back to being miserable again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know Preston? You know my boyfriend, Preston. <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. Well, Preston's mum says she's really looking forward this year to Santa Claus coming. Okay. I mean, she says she likes Christmas because she can buy as many cakes <laughs> and crisps as she normally does, and no one looks at her funny. <laughs> That's great. She says she's going to leave, though, a couple of cakes, you know, one or two cakes out for Santa. Ooh. Do you know what, though? Okay. I still think that she thinks we're still children, really? and we're not. Okay. I mean, I told her that Christmas is about Jesus and that we're growing up now and it's not all about Santa, but Jesus. It is, And yes. she said, huh, she said, who told you that? And then she said, they're even trying to bring religion into Christmas now. Ooh, I see. Yeah. Okay, well, you are right there, Frankie. It's about the saviour of the world mm. being born as a human being like us? Yeah. We're human beings, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. And Jesus became one too. That's true. In fact, there's a scripture in the Bible. I've got my Bible here. I've got oh, okay. a, little, a little Bible. Mm. It's nice and handy, look. And let me just find it. Okay. And it says... I'm listening. ...that um, Hebrews 2, 4, 14, Since the children have flesh and blood... He, too, shared in their humanity, oh, yeah. so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of death, that is, the devil. So that's a good scripture, isn't it? it he also shared in our humanity wow. that he might break the power of the devil. Wow, the devil. Ooh. Yeah. He tells lies, so doesn't he? Oh, he does tell lies, yes. Ooh. In fact, Jesus told us about that too. Let me just show you. Did he? He did, yeah. Oh. In John eight forty four, it says, When he lies, that's the devil, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Oh. Yeah. I mean, and do you think the devil is still about? I mean, is he here in these parts like, you know... Up the road or something? Yes, I do. Ooh. He's up the road and inside some people's houses. Oh, I hope it's not in my house. Yeah, well, that's why we have to be alert. Okay. Yes, the, the devil comes as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He's a threat, Ooh. a threat to us human beings. Ooh. Yeah, but God comes to us in an unthreatening way. He comes as a little baby, and you can't get any more unthreatening than a little baby, can you? That's how the Lord is reaching out to us. Oh, yeah, that's lovely, that yeah, is. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But the devil is a threat, right? Oh, the devil's a big threat, yes. Yeah, and um, the devil, he... We're told, let me find the scripture for okay. you. Let me just find it. Here we go. In 2 Timothy 3.13, yeah. it says, In the last days, perilous times shall come, 
evil people and impostors will proceed from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. Oh. Now, do you remember the devil lies yeah, you all, said the he time. Lies he all the time? He speaks his native language. Mm. And those who are controlled by that roaring lion, mm. yeah, they are deceiving others and themselves are being deceived. That's in the last days. Ooh. Second Timothy 3.13. Oh, the last days. Yeah. I mean, does that mean then about when Jesus will return? Yes, it does. Yeah, exactly right. So where is Jesus now? Well, Jesus is now. He When he came on earth, he ascended into heaven. It says in Psalm 110, verse 1, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Oh. So that's where Jesus is. He ascended to heaven and he sits at the right hand of the Father and the Father is working things out through the Holy Spirit so that all the enemies of Christ will be a footstool for his feet. Oh. Yes. You know your Bible, don't you? Well, that's one of the ways we can stay alert oh. with the Bible. Yes. I mean, didn't Jesus, I mean, didn't he speak in, I think he spoke in paragraphs, didn't he? Paragraph. <laughs> no, 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 uh, parachutes. No, 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 I mean parasites. No, 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 you, oh. you mean parables. That's it, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, parables. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, parables conceal something and they also reveal something oh, right. yes and so when we read the scriptures we read it with the inspiration of the holy spirit oh, because right. they conceal conceal and reveal at the same time oh yes. so why do they do that then well they reveal to little babies oh. to children you know jesus came as a a little baby is a mm. little child. Mm. And we have to come that way too. Oh, we yeah. have to come as children. Little children. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. And, and, and people who don't come as a child, who've got hard hearts, they can't understand the parables. Oh. But when we come as a child, we can understand the parables. Oh, it's see. amazing how it works. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's really good, that is. It's yeah. lovely, lovely, yeah, lovely. I think so. I mean, in our house at Christmas, we think about the humility of Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and we think about the way he come uh, as a little child. And, and we have a little nativity scene with, a, you know, a manger and, and baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph. Yeah. Oh, I think that's so nice. I mean, little animals, ba ba, and a manger and some stinky straw as yeah, well. Yeah. I mean, I remember last Christmas. Okay. I put up a manger scene, right? Yeah. And I remember Preston's cat took a liking to the straw, <laughs> and guess what? He kept lying in it. But it did make me think, you know, about putting up a manger. Oh right. It made okay. me think. Okay. In, in in what way did it make you think? Well, it made me think about God, you know, God, God yes. in my life. Yes. I mean, God's not just for Christmas, is he? Not, not, you know, God is for life. That's right, exactly. That's good, Frankie. I mean, the glitz of Christmas, I mean, I know it's nice and all that, and you get presents, and but it's not all about shoes and handbags and clothes and stripy socks, is it? Yeah, definitely not, no. I mean, I've actually got Preston. And his mum. And the cat, some presents. And but, the cat. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, mustn't forget the cat. You know, okay. he likes his treats, does the cat, you okay, know. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, I've got some presents, but I don't think we should think about material things all the time in life. No. I mean, I don't even want to think about the manger just once a yeah. year, the scene of it. I mean, it should be more than that, I think, shouldn't it? I remember that you told me last Christmas, right? I remember this, that God gave his son, yeah. baby Jesus, for yeah. a reason. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, he's not a baby now, though, is he? He's not a baby now. No. He grew up. Right. And I can see that you were also growing up, Frankie. Oh, yeah. You were growing up in your faith. 
Yeah. And that's good, isn't it? Yeah. You're getting stronger each each Christmas. You're getting to know a little bit more about Jesus. Yes, good. And Jesus himself grew up in a family. And like Jesus grew up, we also have to grow up. Oh. Grow up in the faith. Oh. Yeah, don't stay, you know, young and immature in the faith, but grow up and get wise. Oh. And then the Lord begins to give us strong meat to eat. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah, I so, see. So we grow up just like Jesus grew up in a family. Yeah, that's good, it, because, I mean, so Jesus had family problems because, I mean, we get them sometimes, you know, with Preston's mum and that. Well, Jesus did have some family problems, actually, yes, because we all have family problems, don't we? I can see you've got some family problems. Yeah. Yeah, with Preston's mum. Yeah. Giving you grief. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, the Lord tells us how to handle those kind of things. Right. Yes. In fact, Jesus had big family problems. Really? Yeah. Let me show you a scripture. Okay. In Mark 3, verse 21, it says, When his family heard... Yeah. that he didn't even have time to eat oh, with his disciples, they went to take charge of him. Okay. And they said, he's out of his mind. That's in Mark three twenty one. They really said that. Wow. Yeah, they said, he's out of his mind. Let's go and take charge of him. Because Jesus had some stepbrothers. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because Mary was the mother of Jesus. Right. But God was his father. Oh, I see. But for Jesus' brothers and sisters, they had Mary and Joseph as their parents. Oh, I so get it. Jesus was different to, oh. to, to his brothers, but they were still his family. Oh, I get it. And in John 7, 4, oh, yeah. John 7, 4 and 5, here we read, here you are, no one who wants to become a public figure, they said to Jesus. Oh, yeah. They said, no one who wants to become a celebrity, in other words, yeah. acts in secret. Since you are doing these things, show yourself to the world. For even his brothers did not believe in him. John 7, verses 4 and 5. Oh. How about that? I know. But, I mean, you know, Jesus did have family problems. Like, he had family so he problems. So what I go through sometimes, then, Yeah, he? yes, he does, oh. yes, exactly. Because it says in Hebrews, who well, is another scripture for Ooh, okay. you? Okay. <laughs> oh, look, it's a good job I've got these little markers. It look, is, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Look, look at that. It's clever, yeah. isn't it, that? Little string. Thing, That's see? really clever. Yeah. <laughs> Modern technology. Oh, it's modern, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it says, we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, Ooh. yet without sin. Oh, so no wonder Jesus can identify with all the problems we go through. Yeah, I do get them. Because he was tempted in every way, even family problems. Wow, that's amazing, yes. isn't it? Yeah. So then Jesus, right, Yeah. is God's son. God's son, yeah. yes. But Joseph was like the caretaker of Jesus, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. He yeah, was, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll get that, yeah. yeah. So Jesus was God's gift oh. to the world. Oh, that's so lovely. Yeah. And we give gifts at Christmas, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, you even give your cat a little, well, yeah. Preston's cat. And a Preston's little gift. mom. <laughs> and Preston's mom, yeah. Mm. Well, Jesus teaches us to do good okay. to those who despitefully use us. Oh, okay. So be nice to Preston's mom. That's, that's a little tip from the Lord. I'll try really hard. If you be friendly to her, which the be Lord, nice back to me. Well, I can't guarantee that. That's up to her. But the Lord's telling you what to do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I get that. Right. And so you you be obedient to what the Lord is telling you to do. I will. Yeah. Okay. So it says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. That's the gift of oh. God. Eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's in Romans six twenty three. So if we have eternal life then yeah. that means God is with us all the time, doesn't all it? The time. And not just for Christmas then. That's right, yes, yes, Frankie. Good point. 
Yeah, we celebrate a baby being born at Christmas, oh. don't we? Yeah. But Jesus is not just for Christmas. No. We read that um, a virgin, where is it? Let me find it. There you go. A virgin will conceive and give birth to a son. Mm. And they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. That's nice. So God is with us all the time. And that's from Matthew there, 23. But it's a quote from Isaiah, the prophet, Isaiah the prophet. Isaiah? Yes. Oh, I mean, that's a very interesting name, isn't it? I mean, I could make a joke. I mean, I used to have a bear, and he had one eye higher than the other, and I called him Isaiah. Isaiah. <laughs> oh, better not. Yeah, yeah. okay. Anyway, yeah. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, it just wouldn't be right, though, would it? I mean, having a, a manger scene with no baby Jesus in it. Definitely I not. I mean, it means that if God's with us then... It means that he can give us some hope. He gives us hope. Yes. I mean, I hope to get married to my Preston next year. Oh, that's nice. Well, hope is important in life, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's... I think we need hope in life. Yeah. Yeah. And the manger gives us true hope. Yeah. And like you said earlier, Frank, it's not just about material things. No. It's about the spiritual life, the life of God Human beings are invited to take part in the life of God. God came down to earth right. and took part in our human life. And we are also invited to take part in the life of God. We read that in Ephesians. Wow. Yeah. And we often think at Christmas we, we need to be of good cheer. Oh, we do, don't, don't we? we? Yes, and the... Christmas story gives us hope, life, and good cheer. Oh. Yeah. And Christmas, although for some people, Christmas can be a sad time, can't it? Yeah. You know, for, for some people, they, they can't see the hope. No, they can't. No, no, they don't look at the manger. They look at all the other things. Oh, like outside the manger. Outside yeah. the manger, yeah. Yeah, I get but, that. But people who lived in darkness, if they look, they have seen a great light. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Is that a Bible verse? Then? It's a Bible verse, but I can't quite remember oh. where it's from. Oh, <laughs> so you don't know everything about the Bible then? No, I don't know everything about the Bible, oh. no. We're all learners. We're all okay. learning. Yeah, each one of us. And we're probably still learning when we get to heaven. Oh. Yeah. And that's where Jesus is now? Yes, that's where Jesus is oh. now, yeah. I mean, yeah. everyone should know about the light of Jesus. They shouldn't should, shouldn't they? they? They should know about the light of I Jesus. I mean, it yeah. does. It makes my heart glow when I think about it. Oh, lovely! Yeah, it really yeah, does. Yeah, that's lovely. I think well, so. There's a story about righteous men. Okay, who, you tell me. It. And they could not see the light because they were blinded by their own self-righteous men, and they were religious men. They thought they were righteous, oh. but they were actually self-righteous. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and they couldn't see the light. They were blinded by their own hardness of heart. Wow. They couldn't understand the parables. Oh. And it's not nice stumbling around in the dark when you can't see. No, it's not, is no, it? No, let me just... Here we are. In Proverbs four nineteen, it says, The wicked, the way of the wicked, is like deep darkness, and they do not know what makes them stumble. Oh, do you think that's why Preston's mum can't understand about Christmas? Ah, uh, well, that's not for me to say. Each one of us has to look to our own salvation. Another scripture, Philippians 2, verse 12, it says, Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So you've got to leave Preston's mum in the hands of the Lord. Okay. Pray for her. I Be will. nice to her. I will. Yes. Um, bless those who curse you. Oh, it's hard sometimes. It, oh, that's hard. It is hard, I know. Mm. I know. Um, but, um, um, but don't want to know about what's happening to Preston's mum. You know, leave that with the Lord. Okay. Because um, John and, and Peter were walking with Jesus once. 
and John was lagging a little bit behind. Okay. And Peter said, Lord, what about him? And Jesus says, what's that got to do with you, Peter? You follow me. Oh. Yes. And so that's a good lesson for us all, isn't it? When we want to know about other people's lives. Yeah, it is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. We have to leave that with the Lord. So leave Preston's mum with the Lord. Oh, OK, I will then. Yeah. Well, you know those shepherds, they saw a bright, shining light. They did, yeah. And it yeah. was the glory of the Lord that shone all around. All around, wasn't it? It was, It really yeah. was. Well, you mentioned the last days, didn't yeah, you? You know, I the did. last days. <laughs> yeah, the last days. I mean, days. do you think the angels will shine again then? Well, the angels came at the f to herald the first coming, didn't they? Yeah. And it does say in the Bible yeah. that I will... Let me find it. Okay. Acts. There we go. I will show wonders in the heavens above. Wow. Before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And Jesus said in Luke 21, 25, there will be signs in the sun... In the moon and in the stars. Wow. Luke twenty one twenty five. So look out for them because they might be already here. Wow. Yes. It says in Psalm 68 verse 24, Your procession, God, has come into view. The procession of my God and King. So we look. We look up and we see the procession of of the Lord that comes into view. Wow, that's exciting, isn't it? It isn't really it? is. It really but, is. But I mean, are people ready for Jesus to return? That's a good question, Frankie. And each one of us must ask ourselves that question. Well, guess what? Talking of profe blah, 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 processions yeah. coming into view, yeah. it's a train. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Preston. Yeah. Jesus, we thank you that you came in such an unthreatening manner as yes. a little baby. How wonderful, Lord. Lord, and we give you thanks that you came and dwelt among us, that the Word became flesh. How wonderful, Lord. Lord, that you were tempt you tempted in every way, just like we are. So, Lord, we bring all our temptations to you. Pray that you will deliver us from evil, Lord. Help us to be alert, because we know that our enemy, the devil, prowls around as a roaring lion. That sounds very threatening, Lord. Mm. So we pray that you will help us to be safe in Christ, that you are always with us, Lord, and we give you thanks for that. Lord, our lives are hid with Christ in God. 
we give you praise, Lord. Thank you for Christmas. Praise your holy name. Amen. Thank you.